Hello fellow model railroaders, steel mill modelers, freight car builders and such. Today I'm going to show you yet something else pretty darn neat. This I had recently discovered this week. A friend of mine, Corey, sent me a picture of a scrapyard. And inside the scrapyard it had belled scrap load. Actually it was wire. Belled wire. And I think the pieces or the bells were probably two feet by three feet. They may have been a little larger than that. And I thought, man, that is wicked cool. How can I replicate it? <clears throat> so I thought about it for a couple of days and I came up with this right here. I'll show you how to make this load here in just a minute. Right now, currently, it is in a roundhouse 50 foot Relgon gondola. And this was basically just a test to see how well it would work and if it, you know, Indeed, it would fit inside this car pretty snugly the way I'd been doing it. Uh, the next car I'm going to do is this car. This will be really worth it. This is an exact rail. Sweet, super sweet railgun gondola. This is the newer, more modern version of the railgun. So that's the next load I'm going to make. This is basically just a test. And if you'll see, it's already pre-weathered, already cubed and it retains its shape. Now let me show you how I did it. You're going to need a few things though. Once again, if you don't have them, you need to acquire them. First thing you're going to need is K&S Metals quarter inch brass square tubing. This is the key to this whole load and many others. If you recall from a previous video of mine, I made these candy wrappers into little cube bells for a yet another load in a gondola. If you're curious about that, go check out that video. But you're going to need that. You're going to need a piece of dowel rod, square stock dowel rod. Now if you get a piece of square dowel, it probably isn't going to fit inside this. This is off of a, uh, a, a 4th of July fireworks rocket. This is the only size I found that would fit inside here. And you're going to need a piece of cork. Because trying to force this down on your hand, it hurts. So, you're going to need cork, a rocket, whatever the heck that thing is, and a piece of K&S square brass tubing. A few other things you're going to need is an old paintbrush, a pair of scissors, and a pair of pliers. Now let me show you how to do it. <clears throat> right here, this is probably the main thing you're going to need, is steel wool. Now you can't use SOS pad. I mean you could, but it just wouldn't turn out right. You can get a whole bag of this stuff from Lowe's or any of your home supply stores. And you stretch it out just like this. And a nice piece of steel wool like this. And all you're going to do is gently feed it into the square tubing. I, I make a little point and just stick it in there. Now the paintbrush comes into play. Take the paintbrush and start squishing it into the tube. It takes a little while to figure it out to where you can work it in there and it's like really easy. I don't feed too much because uh, I got it stuck in there and it's a real pain to try to get out. Keep feeding your steel wool in, and once you get it to that point, you go to compaction. Or it comes out the other end and messes you up. Alright, here we go. All I'm going to do is just compact it down. It takes quite a bit of force. And then I have to hold it like this and hit it like this to force it out. And that will give you a compacted bell of this stuff. That's what it looks like. Now, in order to hold its form, this is the next step. After you get it squared up, you're going to need something to dry it on. I use a little piece of metal. This is a mixture of 50% white glue and 50% water. And all you're going to do now is soak this completely in this mixture. Now what this does is it holds the shape of the bell you just made. 
Without this, it won't stay together, and it'll look really, it won't look good. So continuing on, do make sure to do all four sides of this. And if it's a sunny day, you can set it out in the sun, and it'll dry really quick. And then you just cut it up into bell sizes with your scissors. There is one more step to this to get it to rust. I'll show you that in just a minute. But continue doing all four sides as best you can with glue. And that's pretty well done. Now, to get it to rust, I have 100% vinegar right here and an eye droplet. And then all you do is just hose it down pretty good on all four sides. And once you set this out in the sun, man, this thing will rust right up. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of that. Now it's going to take some time. This isn't a, a project you know, you're know you going to be able to do real quick and have results. This isn't one of those projects. It's going to take a couple of days maybe. But once you do, you will uh, end up with a wonderful load like this right here. Tell me that doesn't look real. That is a belled wire scrap load for a gondola. Pretty snazzy. Make your friends drool. And that is it, and you guys have a good day. I'm out. Bye.